host, Mr. Chris Smooth here. You know I'm just about to break down the NBA Live 14 and NBA 2K14 trailers that came out earlier in June. Uh, I'm going to play first NBA 2K14 and then follow that with NBA Live. Check it out. When they told me they had a surprise set up, I didn't think it was gonna be like this. I know, right? It's video game James in the flesh. Uh, kinda. I can see the guys at 2K. They ain't messing around on these next gen graphics. Man, you look sick. Not bad, huh? Soak it in, Playboy. <laughs> they nailed every single detail. I'm you, but digital. Now you may be an exact replica. But can you ball like me? Can I ball? Ha! <laughs> That's funny. Somebody wrote a clip. Time changes, new faces, old best friends, new strangers, new watch just to keep up with the paces, new game playing off the new places. I got a feeling I could win this race. We've only just begun. Yeah, I'm here for the long run. Start off with 2K here. Uh, first detail I noticed was, you know, the facial expression that they put, 2K put, and to individualize each player, especially when you can see LeBron go up for that dunk, and he shields his eyes from the ball, like he closes his eyes as if he doesn't want the ball to hit him. Secondly, I'm gonna jump to a shooting form. I'm gonna put this clip side by side so you can see what I'm talking about. 2K. They, they got his shot down, but I'm not going to say they got it exact because you can see that it looks a little bit mechanical. I mean, maybe it's just me. And uh, as you can see in the live action, it's more fluid and he's not thinking too much. It's not as robotic. In the trailer, they have it a little bit too robotic. And I think that they should, you know, loosen that up and make maybe put different variations. Next is I originally thought that that LeBron's build when he was dunking that ball straight up his signature with Kobe chasing him. I thought he was a little bit linky, but I looked at some images that I'm going to put up on the screen. And 2K, you know, they did a good job of capturing his build, his right arms straight up, you know. Because I was thinking, you know, he's real bulky, but, you know, they really did a good job uh, duplicating that. The last thing I noticed was actually a little bit of a negative in LeBron's, you know, celebration, the little pump he does. I just feel like the, the animation itself is fine, but I don't understand why he would be doing it with 11.31 left in that quarter. And I'll put that up so you can see it. I just think that it shouldn't be overused and they would do a better job if they just put it in the clutch situation. Now on to NBA Live 14. I don't have as much on this one because it was more of a cinematic clip. Um, but I do have some positives. When he called for the pick, his eye movement was real on point, you know, he looked where he was going. He wasn't just looking straight at the defender like they usually do in the past games on the current gens. Uh, secondly, I got the shoes. The Nikes were looking real crisp against the, the court. I like that. That was looking nice. Next, I got the shooting. Uh, Kyrie's, if you look at a video of Kyrie's form, you know, they, they really got that on point. I mean, you expect that because of the cover man, just like LeBron and 2K. So, I mean, we're just going to wait to see some five on five gameplay of both. Next, I got skin texture. The skin texture on NBA Live, I, I think it's 
much better than 2K. The way the lighting bounces off and the sweat, it's just a little bit over 2K in my opinion. But we, we this is a cinematic, we can't really judge too much. Since there wasn't too much uh, actual footage on NBA Live, I'm gonna throw in this bounce tech clip they show that the E3 demo. I'm just gonna point out how you can see that Kyrie is not sliding at all like in the previous live game. And they really get a good job of showing how much freedom you have dribbling the ball. And it looks nice. You know, that's all I got for now. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to try to get some up some more videos as I get some updates. Thanks for watching. Peace.